It's time for the coach's thoughts, brought to you by State Farm agents Steve Pierce and Bill Alexander. We're joined post game by Missy Tiber, head coach of the women's basketball team. And, and coach, your team loses a heartbreaker on the road to UAH, 76 to 75 in overtime. And looked like we had the game won at the end of regulation. We couldn't get a shot off. Overtime, same opportunity, but a turnover leads to free throws for the Chargers, and that's the way it ended. We were on the wrong end of a tough basketball game. You know, I, I thought at times throughout the course of the game we were playing pretty decent, and, you know, it, it, it comes down to there were several times where we had opportunities to make plays, and unfortunately we just didn't do it. And the regulation, you know, we had talked in the huddle, and that's all we're talking. We're going to switch all the screens, and step to the ball, make sure they don't get threes. And you know, I've, in my entire career, I've never lost a game or let a team get that shot off. And just like at Delta, we guarded it so well, but we just didn't. And, and then I thought we had a, a good play called with four seconds left and we weren't able to execute that. And you know, it it's tough. It's, it's, it's tough to handle because I thought even without Kiki Gunter, I still thought we could have got out of here with a win tonight. Coach playing without Kiki for our second straight ball game. We come up short. Ivy Wallen, a career-high 35 points. Emma Wallen with 20. That Wallen's combined for 55. The two young freshmen were great in a road effort, so it's good to see them continuing to grow after a tough game Saturday against Delta. You know, I, you know they, di they did their job as freshmen. They're young, but we have to have more than two people right now with Kiki out that are willing to step up and score and that want to score. And right now, we don't have that, and we're going to have to figure out a way to get it because – you know, we might not get Kiki back till Saturday at the earliest, and it could be, you know, even into the following week. So, you know, we're just going to have to find a way to, to patch up some things, band-aids, you know, put some band-aids here and there and, and make it work. But, you know, just it's more than just missing her on the offense. You know, she's our best defender. She guards the other team's best guard, and then she's our second leader rebounder. Coach, this was our third game in five days. We'll get a few days off, and then we got to go up to Cleveland, Tennessee to take on Lee. So what's our schedule this week? Do, do we get an off day in there? We got to go back to class tomorrow. I mean, these girls, I know you said during the pregame, they just want to play basketball, but it, are you worried about fatigue mentally thought, and physically? I thought tonight at certain points, especially towards the end of the game, we looked a little bit tired, especially in that fourth quarter. And um, naturally so. I mean, you're playing three games in five days. Tomorrow's our off day. You know, so it's been quite some time since we had an off day out, you know, so you're asking a lot of the kids, but, you know, same time we'll get back, we'll rest tomorrow, and as coaches, we'll get our heads together and what needs to get done to get over there and play Lee, but it's not going to be any easier for us. We're going to have to figure out a way to defend better and then score consistently and get more people to contribute. Coach, last thing for you. What's the teaching moment from this ball game? the tough one-point overtime loss on the road against our rival, UAH coming to Huntsville today. What do we need to take away from tonight's loss? Take advantage of opportunities when you have them, and I thought we let too many slip away tonight. Coach, thanks for talking with okay, us. Thank you.